Sony FX6. This is uh, my favorite camera at the moment. Definitely want to get my hands on this. As you know, I was saying, like, it's got quite a backlog at the moment, so <laughs> everyone's ordering this camera. But what I love about it is it's a form factor. It's nice and small. It's compact, so you get the quality of like an FX9, but also like smaller form factor. Some of the sensors, sensor and the good stuff of the uh, Sony FS7. Oh, it's not FS7. The uh, uh, A7S 3 I really like this camera. I just really like the form factor. It's not too big, not too small. You're showing up to a shoot, you know, that this is a broadcast camera, it's not a DSLR. But yeah, I just really like the build quality of this camera. Only thing I'm a bit thing with is the XLR port is on the top handle. And if you remove the top handle, then you don't have those XLR out of imports for your audio so that's one downside of it so if you're doing gimbal work then maybe you're just doing that for b-roll with this camera as opposed to all you have to do a separate audio recording for it uh, but other than that i don't really see what's not so great about it it's got a really good autofocus system it's rivaling um, canon's dual pixel autofocus really good camera definitely highly recommend it again this is ready to go like you've got your sony g master lens here switch it to manual focus uh, also focus should i say you've got your um, your monitor here obviously you can add, look, look at the look at the, the quality as it picks up the people as they're passing it's got like that eye detect you know which is really really cool so it is focusing on specific people here, like in the shop, but the autofocus system is really nice. Again, you've got a lot of the uh, controls on this side. You've got the record, hold, flag one here, uh, variable ND filter, so when you're outside. What's great about this is all you have to do is scroll it, and then it will give you different NDs. Okay, it's not working at the moment. I'll figure that one out in a moment. But you got your iris here. You've got uh, presets, no presets, ND auto. You've got SNQ mode, so you can go to slow motion. You press that. You've got different buttons here that you can modify. You got your display option here. So obviously, if you want to have different display, you want your display on. You can press it, on it off. You got your white balance your ISO and gain and your shutter here. You've got your different dials here as well. Here you've got your audio controls, which is really nice. So you flip that down and you can control your audio channels for channel one and two. Have that on manual or auto. And you've got your slot select. And then here, push it open. And you've got your SD, your SD card slots here, or your CFast Express, shall I say, and SD for your memory. That camera kind of looks like the one on that Warrior Creator merch. Links in the description below. You've got your Sony batteries here. This one, this button here releases the battery. On this side, we've got your SDI output here, which is just covered here. Here's your SDI out. You've got your time codes. So TC stands for. And you've got a few more ports here. And uh, the power port here. Your HDMI. It's a full HDMI here. Okay. That's your viewfinder. So that connects to the monitor here, as you can see here. And you've got this nice handle here, which I really like, which you can control the zoom here. You've got your record button here and the menu here. And this is like a directional dial, okay? And there's a dial also here as well. So this really, this is a really nice grip, which kind of fits on almost like a lens in a way. But you can control all your controls here, like your lens, your record, you can, can do all of that there's no media in the card right now so obviously i can't do any of that and i don't think there's a follow focus system attached to the camera so for 
for this. So can't really do anything with that now. But you've got a nice G Master lens. And if you've got cinema lenses, you can attach the follow focus system. And then you can use that to do the zooming. The top handle, again, you've got like a record button here. You've got a few other modified buttons here. You've got the joystick here. And you've got your um, zoom controls here. You've got this top mount here, which you can attach the audio system to or other Sony accessories. And you've got a spot for like your microphone if you need a microphone as well. And your XLR cables are here for the audio. You've got two channels here. Your mic inputs, you can see, you can uh, switch that to 48 volts, 48V mic or line one for line two. And then you can just cover that up like that okay so again monitors kind of small you might want to get an additional monitor like a, a ninja 5 or a, an atomus ninja 5 or shinobi or a small hd 7 inch but again you've got some controls on the side here for peaking zebras and the sign so you can adjust a different function here and this is where the camera cable connects from the viewfinder all the way to the other side. As you can see where it says VF, that's viewfinder. So that connects to the camera to control this top handle system with the monitor and then all the controls on top here. So, so really overall, it's a really nice camera. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can probably get the camera if it's in stock. I'm definitely gonna get my hands on it. Beautiful piece of gear.